The flow of undocumented immigrants from Latin America to the United States has been going on for decades. Immigration experts say what makes the situation different now is large numbers of unaccompanied children making that dangerous trip north. CCTV's Frank Contreras has this story. The San Pedro River is located in a remote part of the El Petén region of northern Guatemala. This is a key part of the migrant smuggling network that moves tens of thousands of people, mostly from Honduras, El Salvador and Guatemala, northward. This family from Honduras is traveling with their young daughter, who is not quite two years old. The long road has been especially hard on her. They say they left their homeland because of death threats from a local gang. They entered our home by force and took away our rice, beans, corn. They took from us everything we had to eat. His wife says their entire neighborhood in Honduras has been under attack for months. They shot one of our neighbors, who's 12 years old, in the face. That frightened us, so we ran away. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Mexico office, says many Central Americans, including a growing number of families and unaccompanied minors, are fleeing violence. We're talking about a situation of forceful, forced displacement, uh, communities, families, uh, the children uh, are being forced to flee their homes, are being threatened, are being threatened by criminal actors, are being forced to join uh, criminal gangs. These two young teenage cousins from Honduras are making the difficult and often dangerous trek through Mexico hoping their lives will improve if they can reach the United States. In Honduras, things have gotten really ugly, especially when you look for a job. We work just in order to eat. After more than two hours under the hot sun, the undocumented Central American migrants have reached a remote ranch. Up the hill, a smuggler's vehicle is waiting for them. The migrants are now making their way to Mexico. The people who are accompanying them say it's about a two-hour drive still and they're going to have to confront a situation that's quite difficult for them all along the way as they leave this part of Central America. A few are unable to pay the smuggler's ride, which costs less than $25. They'll make the next part of the long and difficult journey by foot. Frank Contreras, CCTV, El Petén, Guatemala.